Well, with me in the studio, I've got Harry here, who um, has come to me because, you know, like a fair few people do these days, go to the press only as a last resort when you, mm -hmm. you've had all sorts of problems in your life. And we're going to have to try and make this fairly simplistic because yeah. it's a story going back many, many years. And yeah. it's involving your work at the hospital, wasn't it? It's his, but it's just what's disturbed me is the way it's been hidden for so long right. and the way I've had to claw away and claw away and go to all the people in high office and one chief minister, I won't mention his name, he put a sub special subject access request in for me and he, he got me down to the office on Prospect Hill and said, listen, Harry, I, I'm sorry, but there's nothing there. And then the next chief minister took over and I put another access request in and I got the stuff. And I said, right. But can you give us an, an yeah. outline of your grievance? I mean, again, uh, you know, I don't think it's in front of the courts, is there, as such, but just be when, when careful. When um, I was first, it was first denied that I'd been in email contact with the hospital, um, and they they denied it all, I, I thought to myself, well, that implies that they've said something they shouldn't have said, you know. Mm. Then they, they, They've got this far, and they don't want to take it any further, so I thought that, that made me more driven then to find out, you know, why... What have they said to me that has come down an email yeah, can, from a denying? Can you explain what the problem was in the first place without yeah. um, uh, too much information? But uh, with the MS or well, we, what what caused this problem about letters? You know your employment. We need to understand what the, your issues were. I was diagnosed with MS, and the, the, um, my family were messing around with um, a sexual character, but. Um, I was going through a tough time yeah. and all of a sudden I had to get extra rooms at the house to get the kids in so I needed extension on the mortgage. So I was doing it all I could and, and I had to get the kids to school and get the kids home and take them out weekends, whatever. But all I was told at the time was just don't worry Harry, your salary's fine, don't worry, everything, we won't rock the boat anymore, it'll be fine. And this went on for months, and then all of a sudden they changed their mind. You, what, you lost your job, or you didn't get... No, no, but I, I, I actually went to the doctor and said, uh, I can't work up there anymore. I can't work with people that are de denial things and treating people like this, you know, I can't be doing with it, so... So was it particularly the management, or somebody without naming names? Oh, was it one particular sort of... Somebody somewhere has made that decision. I, I view it as incompetent management because so you lost your payments did you i mean you lost no money? no no, no. I, um my neurologist recommended that i was retired ah. so i retired and went on to a pension and that's where the problems are the, the money being paid or well there were like you see in here the house was nearly up for sale mm -hmm. um i'm a big, big record collector i sold three thousand records over eight years some really priceless ones like but um I, we just had to find the money from somewhere i was selling everything i could i was selling 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 my wife was doing a bit she's since been took uh retired from work and through that her getting retired from work we were luckily able to pay off some of the bank money because the bank orders were on us the bank was on us um, house for sale, and you know. So you're looking for some recompense? Uh, I'm looking. I don't. I don't want nothing because I. I've worked with these people, and I know how shallow they are. How they haven't got a spine, and they seem to. Everybody sticks together. Nobody will break out of the pack. You know, they all stay together. And you've tried numerous times different avenues for. I've tried to, to, to get some response. Have you? It's that bad now that if, if I'm walking down the street and somebody from the hospital is coming up, who I was friendly with when I was working there, they'll cross over or go in the shop or something. So how, what resolution do you need and how can, you know... I want some thought to be given to my wife and my daughters because they've had to go through this spell of seeing me on medication, antidepressants, sleeping tablets, alcohol, you know, because what, whatever you take, 
it's an escape. Mm-hmm. Whether I have drugs or whatever it is, alcohol, when I wake up the next morning, it's there and again. And you've got MS, you said at the beginning. Yeah, so yeah. That, that's, uh... And I have a letter here. That's the only one I had from the hospital that said that they did it. Uh, and that was a letter from my neurologist in 2010. Which says, just, just, which so says, I, I am. Uh, I've got my glasses on. Like I know. Well, generally, just what, what was it? What was it? Generally, it says I've been at, um, had some, as I said, 2010, I've had some grief with um, my employer for the last two to three years, and it's having a bad effect on my coping with my multiple sclerosis, which I've struggled to cope with day to day. So you are looking for some money, uh, uh, something I want out of this, obviously? For my family. For your family. I don't, um, I don't want anything that, you know, I've, I've okay. had all you I You feel want. you've been wrong, I understand that. So the thing is, how can you get this righted? I mean, you've been to your MHKs, right? I've been to several MHKs. I've been to three chief ministers. Oh. I've been to health ministers. I've been to ombudsmen. But I've, no one's prepared to pick it up? or The only one I got close to was that one, um, Mr. MacDonald at the Information Commissioners. Mm-hmm. This is trying to get all the information off well, the system. Well, he, he said to me... When I said I explained to him how difficult I'd been getting these these uh, subject access requests, I went down to meet him on Prospect Hill, and he said, um, "If you file another subject access request, another one, I've already done fifteen or sixteen, but put another one in, and tell them to look in government archives." Because do you think there's emails in there that it will well the, result in gov- in government archives? What happens is anything that's at the hospital, if it's um, deleted mm-hmm. by the hospital, it goes to another server. <coughs> so if it's not got rid of after 24 hours, it's there for good. Right. <coughs> so it should be there. Okay. So the last subject access request I got was like this thick of stuff. All your old emails? Yeah. Found all and, um, and did they have anything in there to help you? I, I haven't been psychologically built myself up to open it right. because this is all stuff that's okay. been denied. You know. so, so just to finish with, because obviously it's an ongoing thing. Oh yeah. You, you, you come to the press, you, you know, you, you put your story out there. I'm yeah. just trying to work out how anyone's going to be able to help you, that's all. Can you, can you explain how someone can help you? Uh, I don't want any help. I, I, you know, I've, You're just telling a story? I'm telling the story and I've had to go through seeing my wife and my girls yeah. having to put up with the be, me being a asshole, if you like. They've had to go through it and through it and through it. And of course, every time I've gone back, I've had to do it again. And every time I've gone back, I've had to do it again. And now finally, after being to see Mr. McDonald, I got, he's put on this letter about compensations, not the information commission. Yeah, he can't thing. do compensations. No, so. no. But I've seen mental psychiatrists, whatever, they're all disgusted by it. But because I've got, I've got tons more of this. Yeah, yeah. There's a few pages, but 14 years of pages and stuff. So you'd like, what, an MHK to pick this up, or...? I've tried every MHK in my constituency. Yeah. I've tried MHKs from... But is there, <coughs> is there likely to be an outcome to this? I mean, you're telling us a story, but is it one of those things that, you know, there's nothing else can be done about us now? <sighs> Probably not, but right. I, I just, you know... What, Tell your story. Why, why is all this, this stuff that's been denied all, to, all of a sudden, poo, to fear, you know? Mm. Just my magic. Oh, well, Harry, wish you well, and uh, obviously do update us if you get anywhere. The last chief minister I spoke to about it, who I was saying before, had said about um, he'd put a request in and hadn't got anything. He just said, I admire your resilience, but I said, well, you don't need resilience when you're going up against liars, because the truth is the truth, and the lie is a lie, so there's no competition. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.